Hey guys, welcome to another lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about reamping with the ActiveX 3. So um, the most important thing we need to check, uh, go over your setup down to Playback Engine, and you need to make sure that the ActiveX 3 is set up as your sound card. So I'm just doing that now. Um, it should be a little bit different and if you have a different DAW, but it's kind of the same process. Okay, so now we're going to open three tracks. It's going to be one mono track and two stereo tracks. And I'll explain to you what these are going to be. Okay. Our first track, the mono track, we're going to call it our DI. The second one, we're going to call it reference track. And the third one, we are going to call it reamp track. Of course, you can call these whatever you want, but just for the sake of making the video easier to understand, that's what I'm going to call them. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, make sure that your session is set up to 48 um, sample rate uh, because that's the way you, the XFX operates. So now, by default, the XFX um, uses the input 5 as your DI. So your input 5 over here, um, I have a uh, named DI input, but it should be input 5, um, output 1 and 2. So now for this one, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, right? And this guy, we're actually going to set it to be 1 and 2 as well. Okay, so this one we're, gonna, we're not going to touch for the moment. Um, let's enable both of these tracks. So I have my guitar here, and um, I'm on preset 38, which is Dumble. Right? You hear how it's doubled. We're going to mute the reference track. Okay. Right? One thing to keep in mind is, since this is actually being recorded as your direct in, the signal is going to be very low. That's normal. That's what you want. Right? This track over here, however, is being processed. Okay? So let's go ahead and record. Okay. So as you can see, these look very different. This is your direct in. Let's unmute this. Okay. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, and that definitely sounds as it should. Let's go over to this one, and this should give us the dumble. Perfect. Okay, so now you have your reference track and your DI. Now we're going to go ahead and reamp. Okay, we're going to enable this track. Again, you want this to be input 1 and 2, output 1 and 2. But now we're going to switch the output over here to 5 and 6. Okay. Sorry for my little glitch here, but this is five and six for me. And now this is your reamp outputs. Now, this is a crucial step. We're gonna go over to the Axe Effects. We're gonna go over to our setup menu and go into our IO input output. And the input one source, uh, which is uh, analog by default, we're gonna switch it over to USB or channels five and six, okay? You have to do this in order to reamp. Uh, don't forget to switch this back, however, um, when you're going to record again or for any other things. So now what's happening is our DI track is um, going to be processed. Right. Let me mute this. Right, so that's actually your track being processed. Uh, just to show you, I'm going to switch through a few presets as I'm playing the track. Right, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and record it. Let's say uh, I chose an amp, right? I'm going to mute this just so we don't have... I'll show you what happens if you don't mute it.
So I'm gonna record now. All right, we get that double thing happening, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna mute it for now, and we should have a good solid sound. Right? Now let's say I don't want that preset anymore. I'm gonna switch over to another preset. Now I'm switching over to preset 39. Right? Let me go ahead and switch to another one, maybe a clean one. So there you have it. That's how you reamp on the XFX3. Nice and simple. Uh, don't forget, go back into your setup I.O. menu and change back to analog when you're done. All right. Till next time, make sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment box. And we'll see you soon.